Hi guys, my name is Zen, and I am going to do a let's play, uh, but with different rules kind of. Um, this game doesn't have as much replayability as I would like, but I still want to play the game, so I'm going to do something here that kind of would hopefully to change the gameplay a bit, or at least how I approach things. And then uh, I'll set some rules so that it's not going to be as easy as hopefully as before, I don't know. But um, so basically, this is a load, a save game from just beginning of uh, the prelog. And what I've done is actually I uh, I have all the tech tree open, all the layers uh, unlocked. So, I mean, we can't see it now, but you'll see it when the uh, tech lab is built. So I'm going to enable that for this game, for this uh, playthrough. And um, it's going to be unlocked so I can research anything I want at any time. Uh, however, I'm not going to upgrade the tech lab uh, or at least not the gaining science part. So my science will always be one science per 30 cycles. I'll just, I'll just use the science from, the, what, from what the game gives me. I'm not exactly sure how much that is, but that's how I'm going to do it. And then see if the game will be more difficult or less difficult. I don't know. But at least I'll have the, the, the tech tree open so I can kind of research what I need. Uh, I don't have to research the entire ring. Uh, I, I find that mechanic not as fun as it could be, so that's what I'm doing this. Um, anyway, so those are the two main rules. Uh, the other ones I give myself is uh, no health buildings. So you can get by the game without any health buildings if you never have any accidents. And to do that, you basically have to keep the working condition at optimal at 100% of the time, even when it's paused. Um, once you go into extra hours or overtime, I, th I think the accidents will happen. And once you have the first accident, you're going to have just random accidents all over, all over the place. But from what I read, if you don't have a first accident, then you will never have any accidents. In which case, uh, you would not need any health buildings. So that's what I'll try to do. Uh, I'll have to keep a close eye on the workers so that it's always optimal. Um, I believe that is the only three rules, uh, so hopefully, I, I don't know if this is going to be more challenging or less challenging, but uh, that's what we're going to go with. I'm going to try to keep the commentary to a minimum and uh, just let you enjoy the gameplay. But I'm not going to. Message to crew members. Welcome on board the Tiger, property of Dolus Aerospace Engineering Corporation. You will soon be given your assignments, but until then, please continue to wait near the docking bay. We hope you have a productive voyage, and we'd like to thank you for your contribution towards humanity's future. Administrator, I am Eden the personal assistant installed on board the Tycoon. In accordance with the Munchie protocol, I have been designed to take into consideration your complete psychological profile so that I may more accurately respond to any needs you may have. My primary purpose is to ensure the Tycoon's automated systems function efficiently. I will keep track of the tasks that are necessary for you to fulfill your prerogative of reaching Proxima Centauri and carrying out field research, mining operations, manufacturing protocols, and Dolos colonization tests. Administrator, I wanted to introduce you to your first tasks person. I'm Dolos' cryonics lead. Marda Council Member Giovanni Batista. So, let's see. Your first objective will be to begin setting up essential infrastructure aboard the Tycoon, meeting the environmental conditions that are required to support your crew. Having laid these foundations, you will then oversee the installation of the Vol engine and perform a short test jump to Proxima Centauri. Upon arrival, your research teams will carry out a brief survey of local space, gather a few rock and coal dust samples, fire up the colonization protocol, begin building the foundations for mankind's future, yada, yada, yada. And then you'll come back. Now, in order to achieve this, you'll need to familiarize yourself with the Tycoon's core functions. It's no big deal. 
There's the production, stockpiling and distribution of resources, construction, balancing of power output with allocation. Oh, and space exploration, you know, setting out expeditions and all that. Basically, everything needed to establish scientific advancement and harmonious autonomy on board the Titan, following the first test of its Vol engine. Eden's gonna display and keep track of your main objectives. Oh, and Administrator, don't let the position go to your head. Veneer has insisted to center Dolos' focus on the Tycoon. But this mission is just in preparation for our next project, the Protagoras. The Marduk Council worked... damn hard to pull this mission together ahead of schedule. So, toe the line, do as you're told, and bring the tycoon back in one piece. Leave the grand gestures and saving of mankind from ecosystemic destruction to us, okay? One last word of advice. We don't all think like Veneer Dolos. As of yet, no human law has been officially established amongst the stars. That sounds like an opportunity knocking to me. I have established a connection with Dolus' lead data scientist, Emma Klein. Administrator, Mr. Dolus has made it abundantly clear when it comes to security. Given the importance of the Tycoon, we must have full control over what is happening inside the station. My name is Emma Klein. Dolos' lead data scientist and member of the Marduk Council. My department have just completed final synchronization between Eden and our data treatment tool, the DLS. The DLS, or data listening system, is capable of scanning, recording, and parsing exchanges of any kind. The DLS programming that is a part of Eden will filter all data collected and bring to your attention only the most relevant information. It will also provide you with a condensed overview of any situations that may arise and formulate potential future outcomes. It will permit you to give direct orders without having to go through additional unnecessary paperwork. Eden will then take care of everything via their DLS accreditation. As is often the case with tools produced by my department. I think you'll find that once you start using the DLS, you'll never be able to do without it. Oh, and before I let you go ahead and start writing history, Dr. Munshi, our lead medical expert, wanted me to bring to your attention a possible side effect of vol jumping. Whilst there is a correlation between prolonged space travel and the development of early onset dementia, he believes that a vol jump has the potential to accelerate this process although this is yet to be proven. His recommendation is for you to immediately send any crew members that are exhibiting uncharacteristic or symptomatic behavior to an infirmary, as these facilities are equipped to treat the mind as well as the body. Remember that all of your actions and choices are being reported by Eden. We are not affiliated with any national or even international organization. The only people that you are answerable to are those of us who sit on the Marduk Council who represent the collective interests and ambitions of the company. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention.
destination. Administrator, I have an incoming transmission from Marduk Council Member Henry Bartadel. Bonjour, Administrator. What a wonderful day to embrace our fate, don't you see? I'm Henri Bartadel, writer, philosopher, lobbyist, but most of all member of the Marduk Council. I have taken the liberty of personally arranging an exchange out of courtesy with the Oshanabi a ship in high orbit belonging to one of our commercial allies, the Ashtangites. Even so, they are a small organization. The Ashtangites are important partners who share the same pragmatic, moralistic, and spiritual outlook as we do. The Ushanabi will provide us with a source of food while carrying out the Tycoon's initial destiny. By making it the first exclusive trade partner of the Tycoon, we will demonstrate to our long-term allies that Dolos wishes for them to share in our successes. Please assign a cargo ship so that we can check the trade routines. Administrator, trust in genetic connectors. Self-similar space will reveal the pattern. A science ship team has completed a task. All right, so here's a, a look at the tech tree. Um, I have everything open, so I can research, you know, something in the outer ring if I wanted to right away. Uh, but I'm not going to do that, obviously. Um, for this prologue, I need to research the EVA. You know, I'm going to do the probe launcher plus. I think there might be something else that was needed, but I don't remember. Uh, I think actually maybe just those two. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to 
update or upgrade any of these science giving uh, items in the tech lab so that I would not be generating any more science than one science for 30 cycles. And I'm going to try to not milk science in, you know, based on cycles because one science for 30 cycles is very, very slow. You know, if you think about it, that's if you want to get 100 science, that's 3000 cycles. So it's not going to be worth my time to do that. Um, but these, you know, research speed and items that are not, will not give me more science, I'm going to do those. But as far as these ones, I'm not going to, I'm going to leave them and see how, how the game works without those. Also, I don't remember exact which one choices are the, be are the better ones, so I'm just going to pick whatever I think <laughs> was the better one, and hopefully they give me enough signs. And uh, we'll see how the game progresses as I go. So here the health building warning, but yeah, I haven't had any accidents, and I'm going to keep it that way so that I shouldn't need any health buildings. Uh, I just, I didn't do that much research, I just read a few comments that said that. Said that so. I hope they're true. <laughs> so I'm going to try this layout, which I uh, haven't tried this, never tried this before, but basically I'm just going to have one road going to these guys. And then I use the middle section here, going to build my other stuff. Uh, this is going to be my, eventually going to be my space specialized sector. So I'm going to try this layout, which I just thought of. Maybe this is, this works better than a few rows, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So my next research, I think, it should be the probe launcher that'll finish most of these and the insect farm eventually. Actually, let's do the insect farm first.
I don't remember which one gives more. Uh, let's do the paw number one because I, I rather keep some alloys for now. Hopefully, it's the right decision. This one is probably going to be the last upgrade for this chapter. A science ship team has completed a task. Administrator, because of your continued successful management of the Tycoon, Dolos have authorized the dispatch of new crew members and food supplies. Please ensure that they have suitable accommodation once you reach Proxima Centauri. I don't remember having this many crew the first time around, but I did hear they increase the uh, numbers in a patch, so maybe that's why there's a there's a more. I don't think there's <laughs> this much from before. So I have these guys done. So I think for the for prologue, that's all I need. I still have 30 signs though, so I could use that for something else. Um, I'm thinking of science ships because they can get more science from exploration. And I think in this this playthrough, I'm going to need science. So maybe it's a good idea to get this up first. Although I'm not 100% sure, so but let's let's go with that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get to these uh, exploration ones first. So docking bay design introductions needed. Okay, sure. Administrator, the different phases of preparation. Calibration and verification were successfully completed. You must now start the bowl binding procedure. Dolo's protocols now deem you competent to gather resources, knowledge, and test colonization routines once you reach Proxima Centauri. Before you do so, Vanir Dolos, Marduk Council Founder and Dolos CEO, wants to talk to you. Hello, Administrator. I'm glad to see that you have managed to complete your assignments in preparation for this unique moment in history. You must understand that this is not simply another chapter in humanity's story. The book of our life on Earth is over, and we stand now at its epilogue. It saddens me to think 
that there are many who have yet to comprehend the reality of our situation. We've endured endless cycles of war, crisis, and famine. Still, the worst is yet to come. There are others like Dolos who have prepared for this outcome, but most of our kind remain sheltered from the horror of the predicament we find ourselves in. This pale ghost of civilization will wither and die, and with it, the tenets and values of the past. As we prepare to leave this system for the first time, perhaps we must decide which fragments we will pick up and take forward with us. Through Dolos, I am offering mankind an alternative means of survival. The tycoon is a tablet upon which we will carve our new history. Do you recognize why I have done all of this? Having foreseen our fate, I became fixated on altering it. I set about fashioning the ropes and tying the knots that would bind together this magnificent ship. It is true that our time in this world is brief, but at least I can rest assured knowing that my legacy will endure for eons. Farewell, Administrator. For the few who stand in the light and the many who dwell in the dark, you carry the fate of us all. Just a few more things before we move on. Um, there's, I gotta get this probe launcher up, and then we can visit uh, the uh, outer outer hope or unauthorized access point, which is the only point of interest in this chapter. So once we get that done, we can move on to the next chapter. Science ship has arrived at its destination. A science ship team has completed a task.
Okay, one last solar panel before we leave. I think it's, it's best to build it here than later because here there's no penalties for the haul or anything like that. So once we get that then I think we can take off. We got our food situation because we have more people now, so we do need more food. Okay, hopefully we're okay for now. Let's uh, let's go. In accordance with Ralph Stanford procedures, all ships must return to the Tycoon before Volt Jump initiation.